Hi, welcome to this tutorial on how to use behaviour modification strategies to reduce your own fear and anxiety. This tutorial will look at how to use the in vivo desensitisation procedure and how you can apply it to your own fears and anxieties. There are many fears people have. They range from mild fears right through to debilitating phobias. Um, one particular fear that is quite common in society is the fear of public speaking. That this is often rated as a higher fear than even death. This fear results in public speaking anxiety or what people commonly refer to as stage fright. Public speaking anxiety is one that could have in the past been avoided. However, with the changing environments within the workplace and the increasing focus on collaboration, this is no longer one that many people can avoid. It is therefore important that people learn how to manage the anxiety when these occasions approach. The in vivo desensitisation procedure is a cognitive behaviour therapy that can be used to reduce anxiety. So in our case, this can be used to reduce the anxiety associated with public speaking. There are three main steps in the in vivo desensitisation procedure. The first is to learn relaxation techniques. The second is to develop a hierarchy of situations, outlining those that make you increasingly anxious. And the third is to be able to progress through these steps using your relaxation techniques to ensure that you can progress without increasing your anxiety symptoms. There are several relaxation training strategies. These are used to decrease the automatic arousal people experience as part of their anxiety. One we'll be looking at here is diaphragmatic breathing or deep breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing is where you breathe deeply in a slow and rhythmic way. This technique also forms a component of many other relaxation procedures. To begin diaphragmatic breathing, you should find a quiet location and place your hand on your diaphragm. This allows you to monitor the depth of your breathing. As you inhale, your diaphragm and therefore your hand should move outwards. Your shoulders should not be moving to be accurately using this technique. As seen in the diagram, to be diaphragmatic breathing, inhale through the nose slowly for three to five seconds, then also exhale through the nose slowly. Your focus should be on the action of breathing, slowing the movements down and getting the actions correct. And this attention on the sensation should decrease your feelings of anxiety. The act of deep breathing is one that can be done if you experience anxiety in the lead up to your public speaking event, but it can also be used to a certain extent immediately before public speaking, in that you can slow down your breathing by focusing on the physical movements in an effort to curb your anxiety. The second element of the in vivo desensitisation procedure is to develop a hierarchy of situations involving fear producing stimulus. You should begin with the level you are currently comfortable with and increase incrementally until you achieve your desired level of public speaking. When developing your hierarchy, you should be looking at beginning in small group presentations and gradually building the numbers to be able to achieve a large group presentation. I'm a high school English teacher, so therefore I'm quite comfortable in front of a room of 30 students. However, as the numbers increase, I also experience public speaking anxiety. This is particularly so if I'm asked to speak at a school assembly or present to a staff meeting. I find it much more intimidating to present to a large number of my peers than I do to stand in front of a class of students. I implemented the in vivo desensitisation procedure as part of my professional learning plan, outlining my hierarchy as number one, presenting to a year group of approximately 100 students. The second situation was presenting to a staff meeting or approximately 80 peers. The third was presenting to the school assembly, so that's approximately 80 familiar students and 50 peers. And the fourth was presenting at a conference, which was approximately 250 unknown students and 100 unknown peers. I found this more intimidating and it produced more anxiety for me as I didn't know the people I was speaking to. I have now successfully completed all four goals on my hierarchy. I used the relaxation techniques to work through my anxiety and I was able to successfully complete all four tasks. Now that you've seen how this procedure works using the example I provided, you can now begin outlining your own hierarchy of fears. 
It's important that you start with a situation you're comfortable with and slowly progress until you achieve the level of public speaking you'd like to. It's also important to begin learning your relaxation techniques. These are very important to make sure that you maintain your anxiety levels as you progress through your steps. Now it's over to you to implement this procedure. Hopefully the strategies outlined in this video help you to overcome your public speaking anxiety. Good luck.